Hey everyone, my name's Pupsker, and today we're going over where to farm Octavia. Now, Octavia is one of the Warframes that definitely requires you to actually complete a quest before you start farming her, and that is to get the main blueprint. So the main blueprint drops from Octavia's Anthem. In my opinion, pretty easy, straightforward, and fun quest. I did it, I think, a year ago, so I don't fully remember it, but it's essentially, uh, you just run missions, uh, and then you build something, and you pl play a really fun, in my opinion, kind of music mini game. So I like it, 10 out of 10 would recommend. The only prereq is you have to have completed the second dream quest. And once you're done all that, you'll get the Octavia blueprint. And all three of the parts are farmed from different spots. So let's go over probably the one of the more annoying parts to farm. Not the most annoying one, per se, but one of the more annoying ones. So the chassis blueprint is rewarded from the Lua music room. If you don't know, Lua has certain special rooms, and one of those is the Lua music room. I'll just throw in some screenshots. This can essentially spawn in any uh, Lua quest, except I believe maybe like defense and mobile defense. And the Lua music room is essentially this. You hit a button and then plates on the ground activate and play music. All you have to do is hit those plates in the exact same order that they activated. Once you're done that, the, uh, I think, center of the room unlocks or something. And then you get Octavia's chassis blueprint. So that's pretty simple. Uh, the annoying thing about Octavia's, or the Lua music room, is it can be such a pain for it to actually spawn in the Lua quest, or sorry, mission. It took me, I'd say five, yeah, I did about five to eight attempts at finding the Lua music room, and I could not get it to spawn. It's like, it's pure RNG, right? So it's just pure luck. What I would recommend doing is you can run capture rescue missions to try to quickly run through the mission until you get to the Lua music room, or you could maybe try running like spy missions, run between all three of the points, and if it doesn't spawn, just jump out. There's a lot of different methods. The Lua music room is the big, like, <laughs> the big golden room. Very obvious, so I'll just throw in the wiki screenshot and a couple others, just so you get a general idea. Very simple, very easy. You only have to do this pretty much once, now I guess twice with the Helminth, because, uh, yeah, Octavia. So, that's where you get the chassis blueprint. Kind of a pain, it might take you, I don't know, an hour or two to fully get. It's just dependent on spawn chances, so have fun. I couldn't get it to spawn when I was trying, but hey, you might be lucky. Now, the Neuroptics blueprint is rewarded from Rotation C of Orican Derelict Survival. So that is a 20 minute run no matter what. And as you may know, Heart of Deimos will be coming out soon, so I would imagine that'll change to the Heart of Deimos survival node. So just keep that in mind. Heart of Deimos coming out in about a week or so, so it might transfer over to Heart of Deimos survival. Now the Neuroptics blueprint has a 22.56% drop chance, so chances are you will be farming for at least one to two hours with, you know, you could get unlucky, but chances are no more than three hours, but hey, you never know. And finally, the system's blueprint can be found in a rotation cache of Lua Crossfire Exterminate missions. So generally when you join that mission, a lot of people are searching for the systems, so just join public and look for the systems. Everyone's grinding for Warframes right now in prep for Heart of Deimos, and once Heart of Deimos drops, it will only be amplified because the people who don't pay attention to pre-updates will get hit with the update and then realize, oh my god, I need to farm a second of every Warframe. So keep that in mind. You'll just want to be farming those. And since it is Rotation A cash, like, you're going to get it pretty quickly. That one will probably only take one hour, to be honest. At least in my opinion, because it'll take a lot less time than a 20-minute survival to get all of the caches. And in my experience, people do get all three of the caches. So, hey, free caches. I would recommend doing that. Just public. And of course, as always, the additional main blueprints can be bought from Cephalon Samaris for 50,000 uh, Syndicate points. And the Mandacord, I believe for the quest, can also be bought for 25,000 Syndicate points. I believe that's if, that's if you, I believe, like throw it away or break it by accident, because you do build it during the quest. 
So guys, that's all for this video. If you liked it, subscribe, check out my other Warframe farming videos and my other Warframe videos. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.